So I've been getting a bunch of questions on the car, which is totally cool. Um, I don't really upload a lot on YouTube, but there's me. What's up? Um, anyway, this is a 2002 Corvette Z06 in the best color. And the battery's disconnected. So I'm doing some work on it right now, of course. But uh, the typical interior. Sorry, I don't have a light. So nothing out of the ordinary. It's pretty much stock. Uh, I put an AEM wideband in, and uh, the usual, I think it's got 85,000 miles on it, so stock seats for now, and uh, I do plan on doing those at some point. Um, I'll get I'll get a better video when the battery's reconnected again. So, typical C5 stuff, um, nothing too out of the ordinary. I'd like to get the some of the tint redone, but... Yeah, she's up on jack stands for now. I just finished up the Clutch Master, and it's a little interesting. It's kind of a pain, but, you know, obviously most mods are worth it, but, so. Uh, it's so rigid, though. I moved the jack stands to try to get some more lift out of it, and <laughs> it won't settle. It's got to come back down like another eighth of an inch on this side, and it doesn't want to settle, so... The car is pretty much, you know, it's rigid. I mean, <laughs> what can you say? Handles great. It's got uh, BC coilovers on it too. Um, not sure who saw. I think I had a some posts on Instagram. Um, the dude or Bayer Z28 on Instagram. It's the same thing, whichever shows up. But uh, I came with the Haltech intake, uh, and uh, I talked to some people. They advised the the other one. I don't remember what brand it is. It's the the larger one, but. I do have slight issue with this whistling on high, th high RPM pulls. Like if you're playing around with it in Mexico, um, or regardless, you know, when the, the RPMs get up there, it does whistle. So it's got a BTR stage two cam, uh, LS one to NA stage two. Um, I don't, I don't remember the specs of the cam exactly. Uh, it's not my first LS. If you go through the page, um, you'll see some of my older Camaro stuff. Uh, I had a 2000 Camaro for a while. Had that for about 10 or 11 years. I had some extensive mods done to every, I, pretty much everything was done. Uh, just never took the engine out of it. So this is my my new adult toy. You know, I'm married with two kids. So uh, it's got TPS Motorsports long tubes, uh, off-road X stock titanium exhaust. And yes, I wear gloves because my hands are my hands are kind of rough. Uh, I've been working as a heavy equipment mechanic for and or an operator for the past twenty years, so my hands get kind of chewed up. But MSC wires, stock coil packs, stock intake. Um, I got some stuff off now doing the clutch clutch master. Uh, overall, it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard doing the heads and cam on this. It really wasn't difficult. I never really had too much of an issue working on these engines. But my pain that I swore the most at was this stupid power steering pump down here. And getting this reservoir out was the biggest pain. Other than that, um, well, it's got a Summit Racing balancer on it. And I uh, hand ported the throttle body. Um, I tuned it myself. These HP tuners, um, I've gone through a number of Greg Banish tuning training videos. So, and I've uh, uh, I've watched a lot of Goat Rope Garage, and he's pretty uh, he's pretty knowledgeable with everything. And he's got a great way of explaining it, and make everybody you know logically understand the process. So, uh, it's also got CHE Trunnion uh, rocker upgrade, uh, hardened push rods. I believe they're Texas Speed push rods. Uh, nothing matters. L7 lifters, new trays, um, comp cams balancer. So what else? Let's grab better light. So again, we'll go around back, but let's see if I can upload this in 4K. That'd be nice. It takes it takes a while. Uh, stock titanium exhaust. Uh, pretty much everything back there is stock. Except I did, what was it recently? Uh, the brakes and rotors, KNS brakes actually. The rotors, um, 
Rotors and pads for KNS. I think these are Hawk HPS. I had XP8s on here before. The guy I bought it from did a lot of track track work with it, which is I do plan on doing. But obviously, you know, um, wife and two kids, you know, I got to be attentive to them as well. So they're, I'm not the only one in the family. But oh, the TPS Motorsports actually came with a open air catch can. So I just routed the valve cover breather and the valley through here so the engine could breathe in and out as it pleases and does so through a filter. Um, I haven't had, I don't think I've had any oil in this whatsoever. Um, somebody in Corvette form lit me up because they didn't like the setup, but otherwise it's got a screen in there. So it's a, it's a cheap catch can. Um, I smell it when it's cold, and you can see some vapors coming out of there. So the engine's obviously breathing. If it needs to breathe in and out, it just needs a clean, filtered air source. And obviously, I capped off the intake and the throttle body. So, I mean, if you have different ideas on how to run it, then that's fine. I mean, I've been messing with these long enough, I haven't had a problem with it. So future other plans, I plan on, i got to get a better battery for it this winter. And I want to check underneath. So I also did... The um, energy suspension bushings on everything here, but uh, BC racing coils. So I had the suspension out last winter, and I um, media blasted everything to clean it up. So I pretty much had everything out, the suspension, uh, heads cam, intake, all that usual LS stuff. So um, I'm probably rambling, but... That's the car. I mean, some people want a uh, an overview on it. Um, it's a great car. It, it handles like a fucking bastard now. Um, yeah, NT, Nitto, NT, Triple 5 G2s on all four. Uh, tires are okay. I'm not a huge fan of them. I can feel them flex with the, uh, I mean, with the coils on it now. The car handles crazy, crazy. Um, on the jack. <laughs> So, yeah, that's a pretty much an overview of the car. Um, blew out the radiator when I had it out. Um, other than that. So, I'm involved with a local group here, too, that we do, um, you can call it rallies, and uh, charity support. So, we, we support Mission 22, and I'm an ambassador for Mission 22 charity. And I did the Mission 22 rally a couple years ago. Well, the car wasn't in it. I was there. I bought this a year after that rally, but I saved the sticker because I like to have a line of them eventually. So, uh, yeah, other than that, it's uh, the car is pretty much bone stock. So, the best blue. Uh, the previous owner, too, was a detailer, so he had it, he ceramic coated it and did a full paint correction on it. Um, so, I try, to, I try to keep it clean. I mean, I'm not like ridiculously obsessive with the car so i mean it's gonna get dusty and it gets driven so i've driven it in the snow or excuse me not the snow i've driven it in the rain a, a bunch of times it's uh just drive it man that's what the car's for i mean it's not completely cherry but i'm gonna keep it clean you know uh, obviously within 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 reason um, my only thing I wanted to do too was I have a new emblem here. You can see underneath, I want to pull the emblem off and finish doing a paint correction. I have some stuff as a hobbyist, um, and that's kind of coming apart anyway. So I want to pull that emblem off, do a paint correction under that and clean that up. So otherwise the paint is in really good shape. Excuse the dust. So... There's a couple marks, but other than that, it's, I think, uh, any kind of waving. Let me see GM, but I mean, yeah, the paint's dirty too, so you can, you can obviously tell it's dirty. So, yeah. So there she is. Uh, I want to get a dyno in the spring. Um, we have to do annual inspections here, so... There's a local tuner near there, so I'll probably take it to him. And just put a couple pulls on it on a Mustang dyno, 
and uh, check the air fuel ratio and obviously check the spark tables for that. Uh, I didn't set the spark tables super aggressive. Um, it's at 25 degrees, but then again, it's a uh, naturally aspirated, you know, LS6. Um, I don't want to go any higher than that, and I think that's might be a little high as it is, but, you know, pump gas, 93. We don't have E85 here. I'm not lucky enough, but, you know, the usual stuff, typical LS. Uh, I'll try to, you know, post another video when I get it. Um,